With the fall of France in June 1940, Hitler turned his eyes on Germany's sole remaining enemy, England. Hitler issued Directive No. 16, calling for Operation Sea Lion, the invasion of England. This order stipulated that the British Air Forces be neutralized to the extent of being incapable of offering opposition to the invading troops. On July 10, 1940, the Battle of Britain commenced. The opening phase of the battle saw the Luftwaffe concentrating on attacking shipping in the channel. Their goal was to entice the Royal Air Force into a battle of attrition prior to the main phase. If the RAF refused to take part, that would allow the Luftwaffe free reign against shipping, while if the English interceded, Germany would get what it desired. The RAF sent minimal or no responses to these attacks in an attempt to conserve its strength. These early raids served both sides. Germany was able to test the RAF response times and tactics, while the British radar network gained valuable experience in interpreting incoming raids. This sparring continued throughout the first week of August, with the RAF arguably getting the better of the Luftwaffe. On August 13, 1940, the Luftwaffe launched its main phase. The first few days saw the Luftwaffe concentrating on the British radar stations in southern England. After only limited success, the Luftwaffe deemed these targets too difficult to attack and promptly switched to another target, RAF airfields. The Germans switched their concentration to the airfields in southeastern England. Their goal was to drive the RAF back into northern airfields. If this succeeded, Germany would gain the air superiority necessary for the invasion. As the weeks wore on, both sides suffered staggering losses as the attacks increased in ferocity. The RAF was nearing its breaking point after nearly a month of unrelenting attacks on its airfields. They needed a miracle. On the night of August 24th, bombs were inadvertently dropped on central London. In response, the RAF conducted a raid on Berlin the next night. The stage was set for the third and final phase. On September 7th, the first massive daylight raid on London occurred. The switch of venue was the miracle the RAF needed. However, this initial raid caught the British off guard and resulted in substantial damage to the shipyards and warehouses of London. After a bitter week of daylight bombing, Germany concluded that the RAF hadn't been broken and abandoned daylight raids against London. Furthermore, Operation Sea Lion was postponed indefinitely. Although London would continue to suffer nightly raids for months to come, the battle for Britain was over. The Luftwaffe had suffered its first taste of defeat.